that's creep crawling through the night. <laughs> oh, that one is awesome. I love this song. Today we're gonna to do something fun. We're going to use artificial intelligence to help write a song about bed bugs. I'll show you how I do it, and then I'm gonna give you my critique as someone who works with insects and helps homeowners and others with their insect-related problems. So we're gonna be using a program that is called Suno. I'll leave information on how to use this tool in the description of the video if you wanna learn about that. It's going to bring up a prompt. So we can pick what kind of music we want here. I'm going to actually pick children's music and ChatGPT will create lyrics for me which will go into this song. So we're gonna say how to deal with bed bugs in your house. Um, let's just go with that. Um, I have had to recommend to different people how to deal with bed bugs. So I probably get three or four um, different calls on that per year. Okay, so it's given us a little bit of an image here and we'll go ahead and we'll uh, play this song. When the bed bugs come, don't you fret. We'll deal with them, you can bet. Keep your home clean, tidy too. And let's bid the bugs adieu. Say bye bye, bed bugs we won't fear. We'll chase you away far and near. We'll vacuum daily, wash and dry. No pesky bugs, no need to cry. Um, so keeping your house clean and tidy um, is not necessarily going to keep the bed bugs away or um, get rid of them, but it is gonna make it easier for you to find them and be looking because you wanna be looking for blood trails, you wanna be looking for their cast skins, which is their exoskeleton, which they have shed. It's not just about cleaning your floor uh, and cleaning up your kitchen and stuff, right? It's some very specific things you need to do in your bedroom and that have to do with furniture, which there's no mention of that on here. You're not gonna chase bed bugs away. It's really difficult to get them to move and get them out of your house. So I don't think you're gonna actually chase them away. So <laughs> vacuuming daily, um, you could just vacuum up the bed bugs that could kill them as long as you get a really nice seal on that vacuum. So you wanna make sure if you vacuum them up that you seal them up in something tight to keep them in there and then throw that away. But the washing and drying, the artificial intelligence in the song doesn't really explain it. Um, let's try generating again and let's do a little bit different with this prompt. Um, we're gonna do rock and roll this time. How to get rid of bed bugs in your home. So here's our song and the image is extremely interesting. <laughs> Some sort of a exterminator or something here. Okay, so, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I think that's a great song um, about bed bugs. Uh, scientific accuracy is extremely limited. All it's suggesting for me to do from this song is play really loud music and uh, they will leave and they'll run away. We don't have to have itching bites if we just play rock and roll music as loud as possible. Um, I haven't found any sources online when I've done research on bed bugs that indicate that they have the sense of sound. Now, they can feel vibrations, right? If you're in your bed moving around, they're gonna feel that. And they can also detect uh, CO2, so you exhaling, they're gonna detect that. And then bed bugs are also going to definitely be detecting heat, right? So you're in the bed, they detect that heat, they detect the CO2, that's what they're after because that typically is gonna mean that there's blood, there's some something there that I can go feed on. So the song sounds awesome, but there's not really much of any teachings here. But let's listen to the other version, see how the rock music sounds. So here's the other one. Don't 
random <laughs> bridge. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and click continue and let's see if the artificial intelligence will teach us more um, after it's kind of introduced that we're going to be dealing with bed bugs in the song. So we can go ahead and click continue here and it should continue our song to the next verse and hopefully it will try to teach us something of relevance here. It's probably going to sound different. Um, let's see what comes next. Through the night they howl, well, bed bugs aren't going to make any noise, so that's not accurate. Um, they're going to leave marks, but they're not going to be deep. It's going to be very small, hard to notice the marks that the bed bugs are going to leave. Um, there is a tendency for them to do a pattern of a line, right? So if they were biting my hand, you'll see kind of a line of dots where they were feeding. They feed, move, feed, move, feed, move. So there's kind of a line, but these aren't going to be deep uh, bites. They're not going to cause you any um significant physical harm but they will cause you some itching some people who get bitten by bed bugs won't even have any reaction at all to it so they won't even know that bed bugs are feeding on them and the good thing about bed bugs is they're not spreading any diseases so that's one good thing but psychologically they are um pests because who wants to have something feeding on them during the middle of the night it's just not pleasant so all right let's Let's do one more generation. Let the artificial intelligence come up with one more type of a song for us. This time we're gonna give it a little more freedom. So type of music, random. So we're gonna say, teach me how to deal with bed bugs in my house. Okay, here is our song. I'm super excited about this one. Let's go ahead and have a listen. In my home, bed bugs creep crawling through the night. By an itch, causing such a fight. I'm losing sleep, feeling a tiny mind. Mm. <laughs> Please teach me now how to make them take flight. Teach me, teach me, show me the way how to rid my house from bugs that stay. Teach me, teach me, help me find peace, guide me through this bed, but really. <laughs> oh, that one is awesome. I love this song. But again, there's no scientific value coming from this. It's just basically singing about bed bugs and not giving us anything. Um, let's look at this. In my home, bed bugs creep crawling through the night. That's 100% accurate. They're going to be most active at night. They're basically nocturnal for the most part. They bite you. It's going to cause you um, some itchiness. They don't actually itch, but you could lose sleep. Um, Feeling their tiny mite, okay. Please teach me now how to make them take flight. There is no allate or winged form of bed bugs, so you're not going to get them to fly away. That's not how they move. They're basically going to be getting around by getting into your clothing or into your suitcase when you go in a hotel or getting into furniture, and then when you move that furniture, they come along with it. So they don't move that much. They're mostly going to be kind of uh, hijacking furniture, clothes, things like that, in order to move from one place to another. It's pretty rare to see them moving around um, in your house, um, even when you've got an infestation, because they're always hiding in cracks and crevices. And then our singer here, beautiful voice, just talks about wanting to be taught. Let's see how the other randomized version is and what kind of style of music that is. Yeah, this one is just literally painful to listen to, so I don't want to listen to that anymore. It's just kind of not great, but this one I think is the best. I like that one. 
So um, we're gonna like that and we're gonna click uh, continue. So let's see how this goes. Teach me how to deal with bed bugs in my house. Let's see if we actually learn something about bed bugs here. Woke up one morning, feeling so itchy. Mm. Found bed bugs crawling, it was not so pretty. <laughs> in my peaceful heaven, they invaded my space. Teach me how to deal, gotta find a saving grace. Oh, teach me how to deal, show me the way. Make the bed bugs squeal. I've had enough of this creepy little fight. Teach me how to win, make them take their flight. So again, it's uh, saying that bed bugs can fly, which they obviously can't. Um, this person in the song has woken up and they're feeling really itchy and it's not pretty and they've invaded your space, right? So that's the biggest concern with bed bugs is the fact that they are in your space. Your bed is kind of like a sacred space, right? Like um, you don't expect other things to be living in your bed feeding on you so it's just very disturbing to have to deal with that medically there's no specific issues that bed bugs actually cause but psychologically that's where all the problems come with bed bugs is um just that psychological reaction of having something feeding on you in your safe space invading that haven so i like it that it says that to try and teach people that yes they will invade your space but again they haven't given us any specific details of what you can do to deal with bed bugs. So we're gonna click continue one more time and we'll see if it keeps up with kind of the mood or the genre of the song. And I'm gonna tell the prompt to be a little more specific. Explain, there we go, let's do that. Explain how to kill bed bugs in my house. Um, let's listen to this. Oh, bed bugs invade my sacred space. Tiny warriors, a pest I must face to expel these creatures. I seek to strive with determination in my eyes. I'll fight, I'll fight with all my might. Eradicating bed bugs, banishing their plight. I'll reclaim my home where comfort should be found. I'll battle these pests and stand my place. It's definitely going to take determination to deal with the bed bugs, right? And you've got to fight with all your might. Now, fighting with all your might is not like a physical battle. To me, I would say, yes, you're going to have to, it's going to be a lot of work and it's going to be very tough to do it. And the problem is you could be fighting bed bugs for months because bed bugs, once they've infested your house, um, they can live for months without feeding at all. And so you're going to be trying to tackle this problem in as many ways as possible. The actual way to deal with bed bugs is to tackle it in multiple different approaches. So the biggest thing you would do if you started finding bed bug bites on you in your bed, you want you want to seal up that bed with a plastic cover. There's covers you can get that you can seal in the bed bugs so they can't get out and they won't be able to get access to you to get their food and uh, that will seal them inside of your bed. You want to take all of your bedding, all of your clothing, everything in the rooms where you've been getting bitten, maybe even your entire house, take that and go wash that clothing and then you want to heat dry that um, for a significant amount of time. I'll have that pop up on the screen. But anyways, you want to hit a certain temperature and get enough heat to dry those bed bugs out um, by running it through a dryer is going to hopefully dry them out. But it takes time, right? You can also try to increase the temperature in the room where you found bed bugs or where you're trying to treat, but it's not really feasible and economical to be able to do that because you're going to be having to get up to some pretty high temperatures to dry them out. Um, other things you can do, you can get pesticides to try and treat and kill them, but a lot of those you're going to need a pest control company to come and put out because they're restricted use pesticides and you have to have a special license in order to use those. One of the things that I recommend to most people is getting some sticky traps to let you see when things are moving around in your house so you can kind of see some movement. You can get special traps that you can put around the base of your bed by the feet themselves and then when bed bugs try to move off the bed or move onto the bed, they're gonna get stuck in this little reservoir area and then you can see them. One other thing I failed to say is checking your furniture, looking in every crack and crevice. They can fit in extremely small cracks and crevices in your bed, in your bed post, in furniture, just all sorts of places. But if you're dealing with bed bug problems, um, I feel bad for you and you've got a long battle ahead of you, but there are things you can do 
to kind of tackle this type of a problem. So if that is something you're struggling with, look in the description of the video and I'll reference some articles you can read about how to deal with bed bugs using a variety of tactics. Before we head out, I want to encourage you to join our Discord. So if you send me an email at the email shown here, I will send you an invite to join our Discord channel where I will be potentially producing some more videos like this, but I'll do them live so you can see how I'm reacting to them as they're just barely made. And you can join in on conversations about collecting insects, raising insects, ask questions, and join in for some other fun things that we do on the Discord channel. So that's something that's growing right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. Bit by an itch, causing such a fight. I'm losing sleep, feeling a tiny mind. Please teach me now how to make them take flight. Teach me, teach me, show me the way.